What's up, everyone? Now it's Mars News Come Back with another video. Today, we'll be talking about how do you go ahead and make a shout out for Instagram using something called Canva. So, if you want to pay thousands of dollars for different editing tools, Photoshop, or stuff like that, Canva is 100% free and it's really easy to use. So, you can go ahead and make easy and great converting shout outs for your Instagram influencers. So, stay tuned. Oh, remember to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell if you get anything just out of this video. Leave a comment down below uh, if you have any suggestions for videos or if you have any problems with anything about dropshipping, Shopify, or Instagram influences. I will have to answer all of your questions. So, let's get into my computer. So, into my computer. So, what I'm going to start off with, are we going to use the tool called Canva, or, a, well, a um, website called Canva, which is like a huge sort of like design tool website that you can use but first we're just gonna find a product so let's say you wanna make a shout out um, for a pet ring like a dog ring with a paw ring and something like that so we're gonna search like paw ring it's just like so we can find a a picture to use for it so if you wanna find like a paw ring we're just gonna search like for orders it doesn't really matter like which type it is let's just take like well this seems to be you wanna find a product which has um, a great photo you want to find like a supplier which has a great photo of the ring um, well you know there's different kinds of suppliers there's a lot of supplier for the same product so you want to search for a supplier which is taking a great photo of your ring or of your product it doesn't matter if it's a ring or not but you want to find like a supplier which is, has made a great um, picture so you want to search right here you can go down and sort of like look at the pictures so this is this is um, this is fine. I guess we can just. I'm just trying to look for a great photo where like you want to have the product in center of the photo, um, real like close up. So this would be okay, but I would just like recommend that you have it on a on like on a hand, so it's in use, sort of like. So I'm just looking these through. We can. Well, I like. I like maybe this one or this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go onto Canva, which is the the design website. And what we wanna do is you wanna log in of course. Um and so inside Canva right here. You can say create a design, so it would just be in Danish because I'm a Denmark or not, but anyway, it's like uh, create the sign, and then you want to go ahead and say Instagram post, uh, and then you will start off with a blank square because you know, like Instagram post, your shout outs need to be like a square, which is 1080 times 1080, um, 1080p times 1080p. So you can go ahead and sort of like use some different templates. There's a lot of free templates, as you can see right here in the left bar cheesy or something like that or you can just go ahead and start off with your white background I would recommend that you just start off with your white background and then maybe add some different sort of like um, elements or design things afterwards so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and transfer your photo that we just found into Canva and then you can sort of like drag and drop it onto the um, your design so we can drag and drop it right over here. You can sort of like play around with it and make it bigger. So you wanna make it fill everything. So it sort of like just gaps to the corners, which is great. So you may wanna have the whole photo to fill the whole square so there's no white left because that would just blend in on Instagram and sort of like that. So then you could go ahead and go into um, go into text. You can like add headline. So we can say like cute poor ring. So if I can just get this move, you can sort of like you want to move it up so the text stands out, but it just doesn't interfere with too much of the photo. Um, if that sort of like makes sense. The whole thing about making a shout out is that you want to make it not look too much of an ad. So you don't want to have like. Um, let's just give me an example. Say 50% only today, only today, stuff like that. Because there's too many people saying say 50% only today, because there's 
a lot of competition as I've told in one of some of my other videos there's too many people doing drop shipping so if you save say 50% on the day people are starting to know that that's like a fake that it's not say 50% on the day you can make your Instagram influencer write in the description say 50% for 24 hours but if they see this and they are scrolling through the feed and it looks like an ad they're just gonna scroll through it but if it doesn't look like an ad and you're like have an Instagram influencer which is like um, a dog lovers, and they really like pictures from this Instagram influencer. Then gotta stop and look at the photo instead of just scrolling away from it. So you wanna have like Q or rain. Um, now when it's val about Valentine, you could have like um, perfect for Valentine's or something like that. But then you can make it a bit bigger. Or we can go ahead like like yeah, not two lines. So we can go like that. That would be fine to do just like that. And you can play around with the design however you want to, however you like it. Um, like add different types of fonts as well. There's different types. And then you can like, if you want to add something, like say 50% or free shipping. But as you see, when you say free shipping, they already know that it's like an ad. Um, so you can try around. It's all about trial and error. But I've had the best results was just keeping the um keep the post or the shout out clean of like you know ad stuff or ad sentences like say 50% or say 60% or only today and stuff like that so i would recommend you to just use it like this um you can go ahead like add elements if you want to like icons some cute icons or something like that um if you want to like i don't know different types of stuff you can add a volume, I don't know, right? But you can play around with it and make it look cool. But I would definitely just do like this. The most important thing is that your headline needs to stand out, but not be too much of like ad look. Um, so this would be great because you know the product is in the center of the photo and it's being used or taken by. A, it's a bit look like a customer took the picture, it's like they showcase the product so that's a lot better than just like a white background that would be boring so you want a photo which doesn't has a white background has the product in center and then you want to maybe you want to write a some text you don't even need the text but i will maybe like write the text with a with a gray font you can choose different fonts up here you know you can if that if you want like this that would be great as well because you know maybe girls like it a bit more it's a bit more fancy so maybe I was actually using this font I would probably do that yeah use another font not too bold um, I would keep it maybe yeah, I would keep it uh, as a black the font black um, so you can do that and then you can just like say and then you can put it as a PNG or a J, JPG um, I would do it as a PNG because that's just what I normally use. So Canva is a great way of going ahead and making Instagram posts for your Instagram influencers and your shout outs. So, and of course, well, Canva is free. So instead, I'm just, well, I'm using Canva a lot. I use Photoshop as well sometimes, but Canva is just so quick and so easy to go ahead and make a beautiful, beautiful looking shout out for free very quickly. And you can go ahead and um, export it to a PNG or whatever you like, and then you can go ahead and send it via, via email or through Instagram to your influencer. So that's a very uh, great way of going ahead and using Canva or well free design tools to make your shout outs for an Instagram influencer. I hope that you got a blast out of this video and you got some great information. I really hope that you go ahead and use Canva. Canva can be used for so many different things, not only Instagram influencers. Um, making shout outs you can make like instagram ads as well because it, it looks great you can make picture ads and stuff like that you can make like um a lot of different types of stuff you can make pictures for your product pages because you can you can add different types of elements and design tools and stuff like that into your pictures so they look a lot better um so i really recommend you that you go ahead and make a um, an account on canva because canva is a great great tool to use for your e-commerce business so thank you so much for watching remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to always be up to date with my videos and get notified each time i upload please leave a comment down below if you got anything out of this uh, if you have any questions about contacting influencers or anything questions about dropshipping shopping or anything 
I would be so happy to answer all of them. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to watch my videos about Instagram influencers, how you negotiate with them, how you find them, and stuff like that. I got that in the description down below or inside of my channel. So have a great day. Bye.